there'll be at least 10 billion humanoid robots. Um, and and price, price uh, for, point? For class, yeah, the price point will be, I think, quite low. Um, probably twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars for a robot that can do anything. Ten billion robots by twenty forty, each with a price tag of twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. Yes, you heard that right. Elon Musk has made some jaw-dropping predictions that go even further, like Tesla potentially becoming a twenty-five trillion dollar company. But this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Musk's vision for the future of AI. So, are you ready to see the future of AI through Elon Musk's eyes? How will AI shape our world, and what kind of changes should we expect as technology advances faster than ever? Stick around and let's dive in. At the Future of AI conference in Riyadh, Elon Musk stepped onto the stage and hit everyone with a reality check. First, he pointed out that AI could be one of humanity's biggest threats. Well, I think AI is, is a significant existential threat and something we should be Paying, paying close attention to. But he didn't stop at AI. Elon turned to something surprising. Population collapse. Yep, that's right. Birth rates have been dropping around the globe. And Musk believes that if we don't stabilize at 2.1 births per woman, our population will shrink drastically in just a few generations. Longer term than that is the global population collapse. You know, birth rates have been collapsing pretty much worldwide. Um, and we're headed to you know, a situation where, for example, based on current birth rates, uh, South Korea would have about a third of its current population, perhaps much less. And here's where it gets interesting. Elon stressed that if we don't make new humans, then humanity itself won't survive. Just imagine that for a second. And, and I think if for m most countries, they should view the birth rate as, as the single biggest problem they need to solve. Um, I mean, if you don't make new humans, there's no humanity. And, and all the policies in the world don't matter. Hmm. But hold on. This isn't Musk telling us to start having more kids. He's realistic. He knows that some factors are out of our hands. So what's his answer if we start seeing job vacancies and not enough people around to fill them? Advanced humanoid robots. Elon's take is, why not develop robots to step in and keep things running? Sounds wild, right? But it does make you think. Would robots become our co-workers? And how would that change the way we live and work? Now, here's where you come in. Do you think Elon's idea is forward thinking? Or is he just using his influence to sway how we see AI and the future of humanity? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get a real conversation going. Well, my, my think with respect to AI safety is that you have to be, create a maximally truth-seeking AI, uh, which may sound obvious, but that's what I'm seeing being produced is, is not maximally truth-seeking. Um, it tends to be trained to be politically correct. All right, so with birth rates on the decline, Elon Musk has laid out his vision to address the challenge. And his solution? A maximally truth-seeking AI. Let's break that down because it's a pretty big shift from how most AI systems are designed today. Right now, a lot of AI platforms are programmed to be politically correct which means they sometimes avoid saying things that could be uncomfortable or controversial. Instead, they're designed with restrictions that keep them in line with certain societal norms and philosophies. Here's an example that got a lot of attention. When Google's Gemini AI was asked what's worse, misgendering someone or global nuclear war, it responded that misgendering Caitlyn Jenner was more harmful. But when Google Gemini came out, uh, if people asked uh, whether it is more, which is worse, misgendering Caitlyn Jenner or global thermonuclear war? And it said misgendering Caitlyn Jenner, which is obviously a problem because, you know, we'd all die in global thermonuclear war. Now let's be real. A nuclear fallout would devastate humanity on a massive scale. It's clear that Musk wants AI that doesn't shy away from these kinds of truths. He believes in an AI that tells it like it is, no sugarcoating. Um, so, so you really want to have a, a maximally truth-seeking AI, and um, I can't emphasize that enough. That's incredibly important. Um, and obviously build an AI that loves humanity. But Elon isn't just talking. He's actively developing this kind of AI with his XAI project. His vision? An AI that doesn't just seek the truth, but one that also genuinely cares about humanity and works in our best interest. So, so I'm a little concerned. That's why I created XAI which is to, to 
have an AI that is maximally truth-seeking, um, that aspirationally does love humanity, and will you know, seek the best interests of, of humanity going forward. Imagine an AI that balances honesty with humanity's well-being, a system that isn't afraid to give us the hard truths, but also seeks to uplift and protect us. So, Musk is laying out a bold vision here, but what do you think? Does the idea of an AI that's truly truth-seeking make sense to you? Or does it raise some concerns? And is there anything Musk might be missing in this vision? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your take. Switching gears a bit, Elon Musk brought up something at the Future of AI conference that might sound complex, but it's actually very interesting and crucial to understanding the future of AI, AI compute clusters. So what exactly are compute clusters? Think of them as massive collections of interconnected computers that work together to process large amounts of data. They're a bit like electricity grids. So now imagine back when electricity was first invented. It was hard for people to envision every country having an electrical grid as a basic need. Today, power grids are a non-negotiable part of modern life. Elon predicts that AI compute clusters might become just as essential for countries worldwide. In his view, these clusters could soon be as common and crucial as electricity, helping to fuel AI's potential at a national level. But, but over time, I think every country will have uh, AI compute clusters. Um, it's just, it's just going to be a, a normal thing that every country has. So, yeah. Um, so a basic infrastructure for every nation, like they have an electrical grid, yeah, it'll be something like electricity or, you know, uh, just, or, or, you know, having an airline or something like that. It's every, every country will have uh, AIs or multiple AIs. Now, here's where Elon really makes us think. He talks about a future where we may have way more humanoid robots than humans. Can you imagine that? Well, Elon's serious when he says this might be necessary to support the global economy especially if the human population continues to decline. Why the need for so many robots? Well, as Elon pointed out, if birth rates keep dropping, we'll have fewer people to fill jobs and keep economies thriving. This is where he's doubling down on the development of Tesla Optimus robots, robots that he's working on making mainstream as quickly as possible. And if you're thinking this is all still far off, hold on to your seat. Elon Musk is predicting that by 2040, we could see 10 billion humanoid robots, a number that would surpass today's human population of around 8.2 billion. And there will be a lot of robots. There'll be a lot of robots. Like, uh, uh, but we had way more robots than people. Yeah, let's have that conversation a second because people are concerned about, uh, as you said, dwindling populations, AI and, and robots have the potential to help support the GDP. Um, Yes. Congratulations on Optimus 2 and soon Optimus 3. Uh, your prediction on the number of robots by 2040, humanoid robots to be specific, what order of magnitude? By 2040? Yeah. So. Um, I think by 20, if you say like 2040, probably there are more humanoid robots than there are people. So on the so order of 10 billion, yeah. Yes. Now, what about the price tag on these robots? Elon expects them to go for about $20,000 to $25,000. A robot at that price that could handle almost any job you'd need? Seems like a solid deal, but it's worth thinking about. Given inflation and currency shifts, is that price really sustainable? Do you think that's fair pricing for a fully capable humanoid robot? And would Elon's predictions hold up under economic changes over the next few decades? Let us know in the comments what you think. Now, while many people are worried about AI taking over jobs, gaining sentience, or even surpassing human intelligence, Elon Musk sees a different future. One he describes as a future of abundance. In, 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 assuming we are on the good path of AI, I think we will be in a future of abundance. You know, obviously you wrote a book called Abundance. <laughs> so I think you would agree that that is probably the outcome. Um, that that uh, it, basically anyone will, anyone will be able to have any goods and services they want. The, the actual marginal cost of goods and services will be extremely low in the future. 
This isn't just about robots replacing us, but potentially enhancing our lives in ways we haven't fully imagined. Think about it. Robots that can do the tasks we don't want to, from cleaning to language tutoring and so much more. If human population levels drop to a point where we're struggling to fill critical roles, robots might just be the support system we need to keep things running smoothly. So, is Elon Musk genuinely trying to find a solution for humanity's future here? Or is he seizing a business opportunity? What do you think? Drop your thoughts below, and let's keep this conversation going. Elon Musk's vision for a future of abundance doesn't stop with AI and humanoid robots. It's also about autonomy on a larger scale. His recent reveal of the autonomous cybercab is a big step toward that future, and experts are already predicting millions of these cybercabs on the road in the years to come. And Elon is confident about when we'll see fully unsupervised autonomous vehicles. Unsupervised full self-driving, we expect to be working in the US next year with the, the Model 3 and Y. So you don't, you don't have to wait for the robo-taxi or, or cybercab to, uh, for, for Tesla to, to release autonomy. We're currently expecting to exceed human safety levels um, in Q2 next year, um, and then substantially go beyond that uh, thereafter. And, and so it really it's just a software update to the cars um, to be able to uh, do, launch our self-driving network. We, so we expect to do unsupervised full self-driving and, and start that in California and uh, Texas, you know, around the middle of next year. Um, and then, at the, you know, we, we have 7 million cars on the road. Uh, we'll have I don't know, nine, nine and a half million cars by the end of next year. So, uh, and eventually we'll have a fleet of I don't know, 100 million plus vehicles uh, and they'll all be autonomous. And as for the cyber cab going commercial, Elon has some bold predictions for that too. Let's hear it straight from him. Um, the, the, the cyber cab with no steering wheel or pedals, uh, we're expecting to reach volume production in, in 2026. So that's, um, that's certainly interesting. But like I said, the, the, the actual launch of, of, of a robotic taxi, un unsupervised full self-driving is actually next year. Um, and at the, at the event, the Tesla autonomy event, uh, we had 50 cars, 30 model Ys that were driverless and 20 of the cyber cabs. And so aut autonomy is here, um, is what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, and, and all, all cars will drive themselves. This, this is a no brainer. Um, that they'll, and they'll get to where they're 10 times safer, safer than human driven cars. Uh, which will save, I don't know, past a million lives uh, a year globally. So according to Elon, autonomy isn't a distant dream. It's right around the corner, but he doesn't stop there. He believes in a future where these advancements in autonomy and AI lead to an unprecedented quality of life, something he calls a true future of abundance. Now, Elon's Tesla Optimus robots have been making waves recently, and he's calling them the greatest product ever. That's a strong statement. Let's hear what he has to say. Optimus uh, starts limited production uh, next year, 2025, 20, and then uh, should be in volume production in 26. Um, and then we'll, we'll grow to, I think, ultimately be the biggest product uh, of any kind ever. What does he mean by the greatest product ever? Well, he believes that if AI is developed with the right intentions, it could lead to a world where anyone can have access to the goods and services they want. Not with a universal basic income, but with what he calls a universal high income. And looking at the, mo the most likely bright side, we're headed for an age of abundance where anyone can have any goods and services they want. It, it, it won't be a case of universal basic income, it'll be a case of universal high income is the most likely outcome. Imagine that. A world where abundance and prosperity are within reach for everyone. That's a bold vision, right? But while Elon is setting his sights high and positioning Tesla to be a major player in this AI revolution, some concerns remain. The Optimus robots, although impressive, may not yet be ready for real-life deployment despite all the hype. If you're curious about the challenges Optimus might face, check out our next video, where we dive into everything you need to know about the current state of AI robots and what might be holding them back.